Hi guys, DIY Mark with a job site laser head-to-head -head review. I'm going to compare the DeWalt DW088LG to the Bosch GLL3-300. Both are similarly priced with the DeWalt kit coming in at $330 and the Bosch coming in at $350 from Home Depot. And just for fun, I'm going to throw in my 10-year-old $100 Stanley Fat Max laser into the mix just to see how the new stuff has improved. Let's first take a look at what's contained in each one of these two laser kits. The Bosch GLL3-300 laser is a full plane laser, meaning it projects a line 360 degrees around the laser. It can create any one of three planes or all three at the same time, a horizontal line, a vertical line in the front and the back, and a second vertical line perpendicular to the front and back line. All of the lines are red in color. The box states it has a 200 foot range, but that's a diameter since it's a 360 degree projection. So the range of any object must be within 100 feet. The kit also includes an excellent adjustable stand. More on that when we get into the comparison. A soft storage pouch, and a brief operation manual and four AA batteries needed for the laser. The DeWalt DW088LG kit includes a cross-line projection laser, meaning the laser lines are always in front of the laser. It projects a horizontal line or a vertical line or both at the same time. I found the lines that are projected about 155 degrees in front of the laser. The lines projected from the DeWalt are green. Again, the range of the laser, as stated on the box, is a bit deceptive. It states a range of the DeWalt is 165 feet. But to reach that range, you'll need an accessory electronic laser receiver. The working range is stated to be about 115 feet. The laser kit includes a magnetic L-bracket stand, a pinch clamp stand, a pair of green tinted glasses to aid the seeing of laser in challenging light conditions, and a green plastic target. The DeWalt uses a 12 volt rechargeable battery which fits the other 12 volt DeWalt tools. The kit comes with one battery and one charger and the whole kit fits into a well padded nice hard case that integrates with other DeWalt hard cases called T-Stack. If you're trying to decide on your first laser and you have not used one in the past I can tell you that once you use one you'll wonder how you ever did without one. Hanging cabinets, laying out tile, figure out where lumber should be behind drywall. I even get it out when I hang pictures because the end result is better and it makes the task easier. So let's jump into the comparison. The first thing I notice between the two of them is the quality of the projected laser line. When at close distances, less than 10 feet from the laser, they're both sharp and comparable. But as distances increase, the DeWalt starts to separate itself from the Bosch. The green laser light from the DeWalt is noticeably brighter and sharper. I tested the accuracy of the lasers by moving the laser up and down and measuring the movement using a dial indicator which registers in thousandths of an inch. I then measured the projected line to see if it moved the same amount. I tested the beams at 5 feet, 15 feet, and 25 feet distance. Both of the lasers were accurate at all the distances and I could not see any error. I then moved to the outdoors to test their range and beam visibility and this is where the green laser line of the DeWalt really separated itself from the Bosch. Anything beyond 10 feet and the Bosch was difficult to see or non-existent. The DeWalt was visible at all ranges even beyond 40 feet. Over the last several years using a laser I have learned that the stand is crucial to making a laser useful. Being able to position where the beam is and the ability to make slight micro adjustments is just as important as the laser itself. I primarily use the laser attached to a pole and sometimes to a tripod. This allows you to position the laser up or down and gives you the portability you need to quickly set up and be operational. Both lasers come with a stand that allow you to magnetically attach them to a steel pole. But that's where the similarities end. Unfortunately, the stand that comes with the DeWalt is really poor. It's very hard to position it securely to a round pole, and it rocks around making it more than frustrating to do fine adjustments. The Bosch stand also has magnets, 
but it attaches much more securely to a round pole. And their stand includes a micro adjustment knob that allows you to move the laser up or down and dial in exact heights. The DeWalt kit comes with green visibility enhancement glasses, which helps a little, but not enough to be significant. Both lasers come with a plastic target, but I didn't find them particularly helpful. Again, having a good, secure, adjustable stand is what helps most with positioning the beam. I also found the DeWalt storage cage superior to this Bosch soft pouch. These are delicate instruments, and I like the idea of having a hard case and foam to protect my laser. Both of these lasers definitely get the job done. They work especially well indoors where you can control the light. Outdoors, in bright sunshine, they can be difficult to see, especially at longer distances. Still, the brighter green light of the DeWalt is much superior in outdoor conditions and surprised me how far it could be seen, long after the Bosch had faded. Both manufacturers sell a laser receiver accessory that will help you with longer ranges, but that will add another hundred bucks or more to the ticket. So I would choose the DeWalt over the Bosch kit because it has a sharper, easier to see beam and user-friendly rechargeable battery. But the lack of a decent mount with the DeWalt means you'll have to search for an alternative and that forces me to downgrade. The Bosch comes with a much better mount and provides you with a 360 degree projection. It too has shortcomings with its fuzzier beam and poor performance outdoors. So I would give both kits a B or four star rating with the DeWalt still on top. Both the DeWalt and the Bosch are superior to my 10-year-old Fat Max. The technology just keeps improving and these lasers are getting more and more affordable. Still, the Bosch and the DeWalt are more than three times the cost of my old standby. And that would give me pause if this would be a low-use tool for you. But if you're like me, you'll quickly find that these new lasers simplifies the job and produces better quality results and that makes these new lasers more than fairly priced. So I hope this helps, and as always, thanks for watching.